Chapter 35. Dinner time was coming soon and Fritz and I were debating what to do. Mama would be expecting us for supper. If we didn't show up, her initial worries would turn to anger when she realized why we were late. On the other hand, her anger was inevitable now. The instant we came home, she would know we, we had disobeyed her. And even if we tried to explain why, neither of us was sure the reasons would matter to her. Nothing we'd already said mattered anyway. Besides that, we had spent the last several hours at a mad pace getting brick loaded into the tunnel, mortar mixed up, and finding tools and supports that we could use. To avoid having to build frames overhead, Fritz was mortaring together larger sections of brick on the ground. He said it, it would be several hours before they were dry enough that he could lift them into place, but we had plenty of work to do until then. I'll go home and explain to Mama, I offered. It was the last thing in the world I wanted to do. I'd rather have faced an angry bear right now, but Mama needed to know where we were, and Fritz had to stay here and keep working. He looked down at me and nodded. She's only doing what she thinks is right for us, Gerda. Try to remember that. One of her children is on the other side, and her husband. Yes, and he would be the first to agree with her. Papa will be happy if we make it to the other side, but Mother's right. He would never want us taking this risk. Fritz reached out for another brick in his stack, and I handed it to him. What do I tell Mama then? Fritz sighed. Tell her that we love her and that it'll break our hearts if she doesn't come with us. But you and I are going to finish this tunnel. It had never occurred to me that Mama might not come with us. Tears burned my eyes at the possibility. I couldn't be happy without her in the West any more than I could be happy in the East without my father. Somehow, I had to make her come. Fritz dug away at the wall and inserted a brick deep into the dirt. That would hold up the wider stacks he'd already mortared. Fritz figured they would brace the dirt until we were able to finish the tunnel. My thoughts drifted back to Anna. How long had she known our secret? And how much longer until she finally decided to tell? Time was running out for us. I could feel it. Probably the same way my father had felt it days before the wall went up. This might help support the dirt, Fritz said as he examined the sunken area again. But I don't see how we can lift it so it doesn't get worse. That dark patch on the death strip is going to remain there. If they run a patrol through there, they'll definitely figure out what caused it. You can slide wood planks above the bricks to lift it. Someone behind us said. Startled, both Fritz and I turned. It was my mother's voice, firm and commanding. I couldn't quite read the expression on her face. It wasn't anger or fear or even disappointment. Thank goodness for that because I couldn't withstand my mother's anger and knew how to calm her fears. But the times in my life when I had disappointed her still felt like unhealed wounds. Now Mama held a flashlight aimed toward the ceiling. Over her arm was a sack filled with food. My recent days of hunger had fine-tuned my sense of smell, and I always knew now when food was nearby. I stared at her, completely unsure of what to do next. I hated to disobey her, but I would if I had to. Nothing was more important than keeping this tunnel from caving in. Mama seemed almost rigid, making every effort not to touch the walls or look up at the dirt ceiling. I didn't bring you much to eat because we don't have much. Her voice was as near to stone as her body, and I thought it would be all right once I started back to work today, but when I got there, they demoted me. Because of us? I asked. Mama sniffed and shook her head. While I was with Oma Gertrude, they started looking into some letters I'd written to your father years ago. They said it was evidence that I was still divided in my loyalties. I told them that he was my husband, and of course I was loyal to him. They offered to help me divorce him, but I wouldn't do that, so I was given a much lower job as a consequence. What they'll pay me now won't begin to even cover our rent or our food or anything else. Fritz started forward. Mama, but she held up her hand. How much farther do you have to go? A long way, Fritz said. We're not even halfway yet. How deep below the surface are we? Fritz shrugged. We started at the level of the air raid shelter. I've tried to keep it flat, but the farther we've gone, the harder it's been to keep track of that. I stepped forward. Mama, we know you don't like this idea, but now that we've started, we have to finish it. I know. 
Mama finally padded at the tunnel walls, then looked back toward the entrance. Fritz, you will not join their military. And Gerda, you must grow up where you can read any book you want, think any idea you want, and we will be together again as a family. We will finish this tunnel. With that, she set the food on the ground and pushed past me, pausing only long enough to gently brush a hand across my, tree, my cheek. Then she stood beside Fritz and pointed to the sunken area. Those bricks will give us support, she said. But if we can find a sheet of wood, we can force anything upward. It might work. But where can we get the wood, Fritz asked. There's a door on the upper floor of this building, I said. It fell off its hinges, so it's just lying there on the floor. It's the perfect size. How do you know about that? Fritz asked. We only went up to the main floor for the brick. On one of the trips, I checked upstairs to see if there was more, I said. But I hurried back down because most of the roof is exposed to the sky. At the right angle, the guards could look down from the watchtower and see inside. Mama pressed her mouth tightly together, and Fritz only shook his head. We'll have to get the wood from somewhere else, he said. Not upstairs where we're exposed. Then from where? I asked. Unless we dismantle our own doors at home, where would we get something like that? And even if we did, can we just carry a big door through town? What would be our excuse for having it? I bumped into Frau Eberhardt when I was bringing you this supper, Mama said. The woman let, wouldn't let me go until she asked a hundred questions about you two and this garden. I can't imagine her letting us get past with a perfectly usable door. Fritz exhaled slowly. Okay, then we'll get the door from upstairs, but tonight, after it's dark, I'll do it. It'll be me, Mama said. You two have taken enough risks. No, I'll go, I said. Neither of you knows where it is, and we obviously can't bring a light to look for it. I'm strong enough, and I'm the smallest. If they turn their flashlights onto the building, I'll lift it in the shadows of, I'll lift it in the shadows the best. Mama and Fritz looked at each other. Neither wanted to admit it, but they knew I was right. And so, without another word, it was decided. After dark, I would go under the noses of the guards. Dun-dun-dun.